All right, here's an extension. We are still studying two-step equations. We've got a word problem here. It says the length of a rectangle is five more than its width. If the perimeter is 34, what is the length and width? A great problem solving strategy. It's talking about a rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle. There we go. And now let's look a little bit more carefully at the word problem. So I'm looking for key words uh, that are gonna help me figure out kind of what operations and things I need to, to do to write this equation. So it says obviously the length of the rectangle is five more uh, than its width. And then if the perimeter is 34, what is its length and width? So those are kind of the key words that I'm looking at. Obviously, we don't, they don't tell us what the width or the length are. So I'm gonna call this my length and this is my width. We don't know what the width is, so let's use a variable. And since I'm the one making the equation, I'm gonna call it W, right? So W for width, it kind of makes sense. If this is the length, it says the length of the rectangle is five more. Five more, that means plus five. So if the width is W, five more than that would be W plus five. So there is my length, there is my width. I understand, you know, you're not getting much information out of that. If this is W plus five, obviously this is also W plus five because it's a rectangle. And if this is W, this is also W. Now we want the perimeter, which means I'm gonna be adding up all of these sides, right? The perimeter is the distance around the shape. Uh, it's not area where we're multiplying. And that perimeter has to be equal to, is means equals 34. So now let's write our equation. So I just need to add all these up and all of that has to be equal to 34 because that's what the perimeter is. Now, if you watched the previous uh, video, you'll know that instead of starting to solve anything here, I want to clean this up, right? I want to combine like terms, make my life way easier. And if I look, I've got a lot of like terms. So W, another W, another W, another W. So W plus W plus W plus W, we can simplify that to four W. We've got four of them. So that's going to simplify to four W plus, we've got plus five, plus five, that simplifies to plus 10. And all of that equals 34. Now this is starting to look like a normal two-step equation. So I'm gonna try to get the variable alone on one side. So first I'm gonna subtract 10 from both sides. Those go away and I've got four W is equal to 24. I'll finish it over here. I'm kind of running out of room. Last step divide both sides by four and I get W equals six. I'm not finished yet though, right? Always read the question, what is the length and width? Well, if the width, W is width, right? So the width is easy, it's six. And if W is six, that means, remember, the length is five more. So six plus five, that means the length is equal to 11. Here's one to try on your own. 